a celebrity plastic surgeon has used scientific methods to conclude that Robert Pattinson is the most handsome man in the world, and close to perfect in appearance. Dr. Julian De Silva is a plastic surgeon who works on Harley Street in London and utilized mapping technology to find a face that would stand up to the ancient Greek standards of beauty. The research sought to find a face that would complement the golden ratio devised by ancient Greeks who used mathematical formulas to find divine proportion within numbers. Applying similar rules to the appearance of faces, Dr. De Silva hoped to uncover a face with the perfect proportions when it comes to the eyes, nose, and chin. According to Brightside, the doctor discovered that 36-year-old Robert outperformed everyone, making a 92. 15% match for his perfection test. They report, photos of major Hollywood heartthrobs were subjects in the test and their facial proportions were examined. After summarizing the results, it was concluded that Robert Pattinson has the most perfect face and facial details. He matched the idea of the perfect man set by the Greeks by an astonishing 92. 15% with his eyes, nose, and chin being his best features. Robert finished first in line with the research, followed by fellow British actor Henry Cavill, and with American star Bradley Cooper in third place. Classic Hollywood actors Brad Pitt and George Clooney were in fourth and fifth place, while Hugh Jackman, David Beckham, Idris Elba, Kanye West, and Ryan Gosling rounded out the top 10. Applying similar methods to review the faces of famous women, Dr. De Silva concluded that supermodel Bella Hadid is the most beautiful woman in the world as she scored 94. 35% in the test, making her a more attractive face than even her pats. Beyonce, Amber Heard, Ariana Grande, and Taylor Swift also entered the top five for women studied for the project. Robert has discussed his appearance in the past, reflecting on his failed career as a model back in 2008. The now actor used to feature in front of cameras when he was 12 but his posing career dried up when he was 16. He explained, when I first started I was quite tall and looked like a girl, so I got lots of jobs, because it was during that period where the androgynous look was cool. Then, I guess, I became too much of a guy, so I never got any more jobs. I had the most unsuccessful modeling career. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at Web Celebs at Mirror. Co.uk or call us direct at 0207 293 3033.